I'm going to show you how to draw a uh, Lewis structure much more quickly than you did in 2A. Okay? So, uh, first let me give you a little background information. You have to remember that every carbon has four bonds, always. So it could look like, uh, you know, a carbon, you know, four things around it like this. It could have a double bond and two things, two single bonds, or a triple bond and a single. Those are the most common ways that carbon will look. Uh, let me also give you for oxygen. Oxygen will most commonly look like this. Or this. Notice oxygen always has two bonds and two electrons. Two pairs of electrons. Let me give you two more. Uh, a halogen, <coughs> symbolized by X, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, will always have one bond. Again, these are all, always neutral formal charges. So when you have a formal charge that's non-zero, it will change. But halogen always look like this. And the last one I want to give you Nitrogen will usually look like this. It will always have three bonds and one lone pair. If you look at your, you're like, how the heck do I remember that? Look at your periodic table if you have one. It follows a pattern. The first one's carbon. Four bonds, no lone pairs. Next one, nitrogen. Three bonds, one lone pair. So you're going down in bonds up in lone pairs. Next one, oxygen. Two bonds, two lone pairs. So you're going down one bond, up one in lone pairs. Next one, the halogens, fluorine in this case. One bond, three lone pairs. So you're going down again in a bond, up in lone pairs. So see how it follows the pattern? These, if you remember these, you can draw a Lewis structure very quickly. Yeah? Yeah, nitrogen can have double and triple bonds, so you could see it look like uh, this or this. A little less common in OCHEM, it would be good, something to keep in your mind, but you're not going to see it as commonly as you'll see this one. But it's something to keep in your mind. So now that I gave you that, Let's try to draw a structure. If you see something that looks like CH3OH, and I say draw the Lewis structure, forget now the 2A stuff. You're going to say, OK, there's a carbon, uh, and it's got to have four bonds. So those three hydrogens are three of the four bonds, and the oxygen's the next one. The oxygen's got to have two bonds and two lone pairs. So the hydrogen's the next one. Done. So you want to get about that fast when you're drawing these structures out. Uh, let's try another one. It just comes with practice. CH2FOCH3. Let's try this one. The first one, you've got a carbon. It has to have four bonds. H, H, and F are three of those four. The next one over is O, so that will make four bonds for the carbon. The oxygen has to have two bonds and two lone pairs. So one's to the carbon on the left, one's on the carbon on the right. That last carbon on the right also has to have four bonds. And there we go. So I know this goes a little fast, different than how you did it before with counting the electrons, but as you get used to the procedure, uh, these templates here, you'll get faster and faster. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Fluorine will have those three lone pairs around. Excellent. Let's try uh, at least one more. Try this one. I'll just do it here. Uh, CH3CHO. CH3CHO. This one, the first carbons, four things around it, H, H, and H. Then you got the next carbon. Now you're going to find a problem. The next carbon, there's not four atoms to bond to. There's this carbon, there's the H and the O. There's three things. So you're thinking there better be a double bond. 
Okay? Because if there's three groups, one of them has to have a double bond. So the hydrogen can't have a double bond, but the oxygen can. It'll look like this right here. And the hydrogen always has one bond. Do you feel like you're kind of getting used to it a little bit? It'll take some practice, uh, but the more you see, the faster you'll get at it. Right now, it'll, you'll probably do it pretty slowly, but as you do more and more, you'll see it'll go faster and faster. 